All right, Salman. Yesterday we had Jamal Charlo fight Montiel. Um, and it was a very lackluster performance, not a great performance. Uh, Jamal Charlo fans have been saying that, you know, he beats Canelo and Canelo ducking him for a very long time. Uh, also, they've been saying that, uh, you know, Canelo Charlo has a very good chance of beating him. But on yesterday's performance, Montiel uh, hurt Jamal Charlo. He hit, hurt him to the body. Charlo didn't look great. He looked like he ran out of stamina. Uh, I was bigging up Charlo, uh, saying that Charlo's could be a problem for Canelo. But on that performance last night, what did you make of it? I don't think it was, from looking at the highlights, I don't think it was that good. He didn't look anything special. I don't think he beats Canelo at all. Um, I, he, I don't think he's good enough. Um, I don't think any of these guys are good enough to beat Canelo. I just think Canelo's just a cut above all these guys. Um, I think Canelo will knock Charlo out. Really? Do you not think that? Do you not think that? You know what I thought? Yeah, Charlo's physicality and Charlo's power and strength. Like, De did you see? You saw his performance against Davianchenko. You were the one that said you were impressed the way he busted Davianchenko up. And Davianchenko was coming off a good performance against Golovkin, where it was very close. Uh, you were impressed by that performance against Davianchenko. I remember you telling me. Yeah, but the thing is, you got to realize the guy's not. You know, a lower level fighter in Munguia stopped this guy. And so then that goes to show Charlo ain't got no power. He couldn't stop her. He couldn't stop Derevyanchenko, couldn't even drop him, right? He hasn't got no power. He isn't going to trouble Canelo. And power's not what's going to win it, anyways. But yeah, he ain't going to beat Canelo. No way. No chance. You don't give you don't give Charlo a, after that performance after that performance. Uh, even before this performance, I've not, I don't think he's gonna beat Canelo. That's not the style. His style isn't the way to beat Canelo. Come so forward. what style is the way to beat Canelo? It, it has to be it has to be someone where you know a slick boxer. Yeah, but we've seen that slick boxers can't beat Canelo either. We just saw yeah, a slick yeah, boxer but, last but, time. Yeah, but bro, that slick boxer clearly wasn't up to the level where he needed to be. So you don't. I I personally disagree with you. I think that the style that's going to beat Canelo is a Charlo style, a physically strong, uh, a a power puncher, a guy that a guy that can make Canelo worth three minutes of of the round. Uh, Baterbiev, someone Charlo like that. Isn't no, Char let me tell you something. Charlo isn't no Golovkin, right? In his prime, you know. Charlo's not no killer. You know. Charlo, when Charlo steps in the ring with any other good fighter, he's not knocking them out. He's not gonna. He's he's gonna struggle. You know, he's not even, he, he, he was getting hurt yesterday. He was getting hurt in there. So his chin ain't the best either. And if Canelo lands something flush on him, he, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to be hurt. Because he was, he was wobbling in there yesterday against that other guy when that guy hit him. So, and Montiel's a lower level five. I've never even heard of him. So all I heard that he got knocked out by Jaime Munguia in six rounds. So that goes to show you where Charlo's at. But the thing, the fact, the fact, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is that Char Charlo, Charlo, if he fight, okay, let's do this. Charlo fights Andrade. Yeah, I think he'll probably be Andrade, but probably a close fight. I don't see anything special in Charlo, to be honest. I just think he's a normal fighter. Um, he's a good fighter, but he isn't anything special. He isn't going to beat Canelo, no chance. He's not better. Uh, he's not better. He's not got a better chin than Canelo. He's not got more punching power than Canelo. He's not got better ring IQ than Canelo. He's not got more skills than Canelo. What's he going to do? Walk Canelo down? He's going to get knocked out if he does that because he's not. No, if Montiel's putting you all over like that, then what's Canelo going to do if he lands? And Canelo can punch. So no way. There's no way. He's not going to. He can't beat Canelo, man. None of these guys can beat Canelo. He's just. So Canelo's what about. Just a go on, go on. Carry on, carry on. Canelo's just a league above all these guys. He's just he's just better than these guys. It's just simple as that. Charlo v Golovkin. I think Golovkin will beat him. If Golovkin has anything left in the tank, he'll beat Gol he'll beat Charlo, no problem. Because if 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 Charlo wants to stand in there have a fight, Golovkin's got a way better chin, right? And if anyone's gonna go, it's gonna be Charlo. So, so you, how so you would favor Golovkin right now against Charlo? Yeah, I just think because if if Charlo's going to bring the heat, right? I can't see him having the toe to toe with Golovkin and and coming up first place. He's going to come up second place because he hasn't got a better chin, 
right, then those guys, there's no, those guys don't even get hurt. Don't, those guys don't wobble, don't get hurt, nothing. So, Charlo gets wobbled. When you punch him clean, right, he, he, he does feel it and you can tell that, you know, he gets, with yesterday he was all over the place in some rounds. So, he's not going to, he's not going to, I think those guys will beat him quite comfortably. Wow. Wow. So, do you think, do you think, you know how all of his fans were saying that Charlo uh, will be the last man standing in the middleweight division? He will be the undisputed middleweight king and the middleweight champion. Uh, so, the champions are Andrade, Golovkin and Morata. Who do you see him beating in there? He might beat Morata, might beat Andrade, but I don't think he'll beat Golovkin because Golovkin's a different animal. Um, Golovkin's one, a type of fighter. He doesn't get hurt. He doesn't get wobbled. You know, he can stand there, box. He can stand there and, and you know, be a boxer. He can stand. If you fight with Golovkin, you're going to come up second place pretty much, um, unless you're Canelo. Salman, what, what about this? Montiel was obviously a guy that Charlo probably struggled to get up for. Also, with the pandemic and stuff, do you think that could have played uh, a part in his performance? Also, Charlo didn't make weight initially. He made the weight second time. I don't know if you saw that. Um, do you think that would have had an impact on his performance? Do you think it pandemic maybe, could have had maybe an impact? Maybe it did, but I don't think that's, that's a determining factor on him beating Canelo. I just think Canelo's way better than him. No, no, I'm not the Canelo. I'm saying yesterday's performance. Do you think that maybe, could have had maybe so, maybe so? But either way, right? He landed his flushes shots. I don't care if you didn't make weight. If you land your cleanest blow on someone and you can't get him out of there, right? You know, I, I don't use that as an excuse because look at Davis, right? He's not been. He's been. He's been very. Uh, you know, inactive. He, inactive. Not inactive. He's been very inconsistent with making weight and stuff. But he still gets the job done. So I don't look at that and think that, oh, OK, no, it was a matter of the fact that guy could stand up to his punching power. You know, he could stand up. He doesn't probably punch as hard as what people think he punches. You know, he let his uh, he landed his cleanest shots on the guy and he couldn't rock him. Well, he rocked him, but he couldn't stop him. Well, Salman, after six rounds, it looked like Montiel was taking a big beating in there. Charlo was battering him all over the place. It looked like it was going to be a stoppage. Uh what? Why do you? Wh and then after that, did you feel? What, did you see Charlo start to run out of gas? Yeah, because obviously he's probably he couldn't get the guy out of there because the guy the guy was tough, you know. And Canelo's more than tough. Golovkin's more than tough, you know. These guys are very good fighters, you know. Montiel, he's probably a guy that can take punishment. He isn't going to go down easily. And then yeah, he put it on Charlo and, and you know start putting combinations on Charlo and start wobbling him a few times. So, Charlo and Canelo, how do you see that one playing out? Break it down for me. I think, you know, Charlo, you know, Charlo might start off fast, but I think between rounds five and round eight, I think Canelo will knock him out. What, body shots or brutal knockout? How do you see it? It could, if he wants to stand there and have a toe to toe, then it could even be a brutal knockout because I don't think he, he doesn't, he doesn't have a better chin than Canelo. And, if they stand there, have a toe to toe. He ain't. He isn't gonna. He isn't gonna come up. He isn't gonna come up best against Canelo. No way. So, if I was to ask you at one six eight and one sixty, who's the be Who's the be Who's got the best chance of beating Canelo then? Golovkin. Golovkin. At thirty nine, you still think Golovkin's the man for the job? I don't see anyone in that, those weight classes. Right. I thought. I thought Billy Joe would be the man, and I was proven massively wrong you know Canelo was winning the fight and then he stopped him so you got to realise this guy's a special special fighter and the only guy that I think can beat him is Golovkin if Golovkin has anything left but apart from so, that I don't I, he'd have to move up crazy weight to lose Salman let me let me get two names out of there what about Bivol and Baterbiev yeah that's what I mean he'd have to move up weight to maybe light heavyweight but I don't think anyone I don't think those guys can knock him out. I just think no one under 200 pounds is knocking Canelo out. It's not going to be possible. You, you don't think Baterbiev can knock Canelo out? I don't think I don't think Baterbiev can knock Canelo out, no. Because I think Canelo spars with heavyweights and they can't rock him or wobble him. So what was Baterbiev going to do? So if Baterbiev was to fight Canelo, right, who would you favour in that fight? Canelo. What, by points or but, knockout? Listen... 
Baterbi, have he shown that he can be hit and be hurt? Canelo's never shown he can be hit and be hurt. So oh, he has, he has. Hang on a minute. Cotto's brother hurt him. Who? Cotto's brother early on in his career. Yeah, but what when he's fifteen years old? <laughs> yeah, when he was nineteen. Yeah, or 18. yeah but that, that 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 that's being silly though. That that's being silly because if someone's fifteen years old, he's not even a full man by fifteen years old. You got to let the guy get to at least 21, 22 to be a full grown man. He wasn't even a full grown man. I've never seen in the last seven, eight years. I've never seen him wobble in any fight. So that's just from what I've seen. I don't know. I might miss something, but from what I've seen, I've seen him take Golovkin's hardest shots, right? And I've seen what Golovkin did to the likes of Brook and all of those guys, right? And Canelo took it quite comfortably, and he didn't wobble. So I, I, I no. Canelo's got a granite chin, and. The Turby have shown that he can be hit and go down. He's shown that he can be hit and go down. Canelo's not shown in the last seven, eight years that he can be hit and be hurt. And he's fought guys like Golovkin. So, and Golovkin's a, one of the hardest punchers around that weight division. He was knocking but everything out. Turbiev is a, is a knockout artist at light heavyweight. He's a big dude. He's a big, big guy. Yeah, but the, he can be as big as he wants. He's never fought someone like a Canelo before. Someone with the ring IQ. Someone with the skill set. Someone with the, you know, with the body. It's just a different class, man. He, he's not never going to have fought someone with that sort of skill level. What about Dimitri Bivol, who's a more of a boxer? Baterbi has more of a pressure fire. He walks you down and beats you up. What about someone like Bivol, who's more of a boxer, not as big as strong as Baterbi? You'll, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Canelo will, will be walking these guys down, man, like how he did Kovalev. He'll be walking these fellas down, man. These guys are not going to beat Canelo, man. The, as I said to you, in my opinion, the only way to beat Canelo is if you're a Golovkin, which you have a. Think about it. Which which middleweight, super middleweight, has the pressure and, and relentlessness like Golovkin? And even Golovkin couldn't get the job done. Think about it. When you think about it realistically, Golovkin's pressure was like, look what Golovkin did to Brook in four or five rounds. He just overwhelmed him. And he beat, he beat Golovkin and Golovkin pressures you like, no, he doesn't give you no space. And he was able to crack that puzzle. So I don't think any of these guys can beat him. I don't think any of these guys can beat him. The only guy that could have beaten him was Golovkin. I thought Golovkin won the first fight, but the second fight, I thought Canelo won. So I just think Canelo's the all-round package and we've got to give him the credit. I just don't think any of these guys, even at what I think he could be, I think he could potentially become undisputed here and then he could go on and become undisputed at 170. He'd have to potentially move up to cruiserweight. And he could even undis become undisputed at cruiserweight. Wow, wow, come on, that's too much. That's too much. Because the come thing on. is, I think the yeah. undisputed Lawrence champion... O'Coley is six foot five, Salman. No, Lawrence O'Coley, in my opinion, will become the undisputed cruiserweight champion. But yeah. if you were to if, if if you were to ask people who do you think would win that fight, Lawrence O'Coley or Canelo? Canelo's got so much class and you know ring IQ, way better than what O'Coley has, you know. So it, you can't even say that uh, Canelo wouldn't be able to beat him. So, I don't know. He'd have to move up to heavyweight, I think. In my opinion, if he wants to get knocked out. Because I just don't think there's a man there that I've seen, including Lawrence O'Coley. Because I think Lawrence O'Coley is going to become the undisputed cruiserweight champion. That's going to be able to trouble this guy. Even loads of fighters have said it. No one under 200, 200 pounds or under is going to knock this guy out. They're built, they're built differently. They're, they're animals. They're animals. So... You've got Canelo. You've got Canelo becoming undisputed at uh, light heavy as well. Yep. Wow. All right, Salman. It was good having having you on and your opinion. Uh, we'll get you on some more times. Um, but yeah, I'll see everyone. Thanks for watching our video, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace.